Biden administration has done everything it can for two years to stoke a third world war beginning in Eastern Europe. And that plan is unfolding before our eyes and no one seems to notice. Zelensky, the president of Ukraine, the despot who runs Ukraine, was on CNN last night, and he said he expects the Biden administration to give him F-16 soon. We don't have the fighter jets to, to deal with it, and we, to counteract the Russian hits, and we really need uh, this, and uh, really appeal to the president that they could start training Ukrainian pilots. And uh, President Biden told me that uh, it would be worked upon, and uh, I believe that uh, uh, United States will give us the opportunity to uh, defend and defend our skies. Haven't they been telling us for over a year that Russia is about to be defeated? Then why are we sending an ever increasing amount of money and material to Ukraine? Could they be lying to us? And speaking of lying to us, remember they told us that Russia blew up its own pipeline? The New York Times told us everyone told us that. Shut up, Putin defender. The Russians did it. Well, now they're admitting the Russians didn't do it, but we didn't do it either. Something called a pro-Ukrainian group blew up the Nord Stream pipeline and created the largest environmental disaster in human history and also shafted our NATO allies in Western Europe, a pro-Ukrainian group. Okay. Dulcie Gabbard served in the Congressman for president. She joins us tonight. Congressman, thanks so much for coming on. Thanks, so Tucker. this is a pro-Ukrainian group that has the military prowess to blow up one of the world's most important pipelines, but we had, the Biden administration had nothing to do with it. Is that the new lie that they're telling us? <laughs> Uh, apparently so. It is It is so obvious at this point, Tucker, that the United States and NATO are responsible for this act of sabotage and act of war, attacking and destroying this Nordstrom pipeline. They've been lying to us all along about it. Now they've been busted. And so they're trying to sell us this absurd cover-up story where, on the one hand, they're telling us, well, we have this new intelligence that shows us no Americans or Brits were involved in this attack. But then, at the same time, we can't draw any conclusions from the intelligence on who actually did it because we don't have specific details on each of the members of this so-called pro-Ukrainian group. Like it, it's just it's it's insanity for anybody who's paying attention to what they're saying. Uh, the reality is that they are responsible for this, and there are short-term and long-term serious implications yes. for this action. It set, it sets this precedent, Tucker, for countries like Russia, uh, North Korea, Iran, and China to go ahead and launch these attacks and sabotage against critical infrastructure against other countries, like gas pipelines, uh, undersea cables, financial systems, satellites. The list goes on and on. Just imagine the kind of uh, problems, to say the least, that that would cause for us, the American Wait, people, uh, and for the world. But I'm just, can I just ask a, a super dumb question? No one's ever answered it. So this pipeline fed Germany, which is the economic engine of Europe. Germany is the key player in NATO. We're all for NATO. We just wrecked the economy of our key NATO ally. If Germany blew up the Hoover Dam, would they still be our tight NATO ally? Like, doesn't NATO have to disintegrate after we get caught doing this? You know, that, that's, that's the thing here. I think a, a couple of points is the Biden administration, NATO, want us to believe that, that some, that they want us to believe this cover-up story, first of all, which their cover-up story implies that the United States and NATO's military and intelligence agencies are so inept and incapable that nobody knows what was going on. Nobody saw this coming. Uh, but secondly, you're exactly right. This was an act of war, not just against Russia, but also against our ally, Germany. Yeah. Also, an act of war can only be declared by Congress, not by the president of the United States or anybody else. That clearly didn't happen. And that's where Biden needs to address the nation, tell us the whole truth about what went down, and Congress needs to exercise its oversight responsibilities to actually investigate this, to tell, to tell us the truth, get to the bottom of it, and to hold those responsible accountable. Yeah. I mean, it's the craziest, most reckless thing I've ever seen in 50 years of sort of paying attention. Tulsi Gabbard, thank you so much for continuing to call <laughs> attention. You. It's just unbelievable. No one is paying attention. It, it, it really is. You. It really <laughs> is. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.